everybody, welcome back to Crafted by Norma. Today we're going to put some ephemera into one of our staggered envelope junk journals. Um, I had a bit of a horrendous day yesterday because uh, my camera gave up the, the ghost three quarters of the way through filming and I had to redo it again. So anyway, today's going to be a better day. So what we've gone and done now is we've gone and added to the journals just little pockets, little um, tuck spots on all the envelopes so we can actually now start adding some um, ephemera to them. So what I normally would do is have some ephemera already made up. Now I make loads and loads of ephemera in one hit and then I tend to just dip in and out as and when I need to. And I do sell ephemera on my work uh, on my Etsy shop, Crafted by Norma, as little lucky bags because I always have bits and pieces that's left over. So I pop them in a bag and I have them on sale there. So we've got some letters and envelopes, uh, certificates and envelopes. Uh, they're ready to go in, all tied and up with the string. I've got a notebook to put in one. I've got um, another couple of little notebooks that um, I've made in the past, the little black ones, and also a little jotter uh, with journey on it um, to go uh, into the um, into the journals. So this is where it gets a little bit uh, exciting because I sort of dip it in and out. Now on the big one that I did yesterday, this is slightly bigger than um, the normal ones that I do. This one is actually five and a half wide by seven and a half wide. I came across that image and really liked it so I've put that on the front of um, this journal already. Uh, so this one's all be journal and I want it to be about memories not actual travel but because uh, none of us are traveling at the moment but um, just a memory journal um, I thought would be uh, would be quite nice. So to start off with all I'm going to do is sort of dip in so at the back of this one, I did put a little tiny flip here uh, for the notepad that I made. And that just slots in like so to keep in. And then you can replenish it if and when you want to. And all I need to do there is just have something on the front. Now if I get my trusty uh, storage... Um, book. This has got all my bits and pieces in it that I've, uh, I've collected uh, over a period of time. All sorts of bits and bobs in it, stamps, uh, pictures, words. Uh, I'll be looking for notes, I think. Yeah, there's one that's uh, got notes on it. So that would be quite nice, just uh, plonked on top of there. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to put that on there. So I'll just get some some glue. There we go. And we're going to add that to that book. I might just do it underneath that watering can actually. There we go. Uh, this is quite nice paper uh, that I got for uh, uh, another project and I just had a thin strip so I thought that was quite nice to go on there. So we've started with the back page, but we'll, we'll move on. So on this one, I thought it would be quite nice to have one of my um, paper packs. So all this is is a piece of coffee-stained uh, paper. And as you can see, the triangles, I did these outside and put them on my um, table outside, uh, which is raw iron, and it picked up the, the pattern of the table, which was quite nice, uh, and an envelope, and just tied them into a, a little bundle. So that can, that can slot into there. And then we just start adding bits and pieces to it, really. So that's quite a nice little daisy. So we'll slot that into there uh, and turn over. And let's have a look what else we've got. So we've got some smaller... Now, I try to back all my cards if I can. Um, I just think it's just a bit sturdier. And if you want to, you can always put on the, the back of these for journaling... Like that one's got some marks on it and a little tiny piece of uh, coffee stained paper which 
uh, I've got some here. So what I tend to do with this is just rip it down to size. It might help if I had my rip board, wouldn't it? There we go. So just roughly black on black's not good, is it? There we go. There, that's it. So we're just roughly going to tear a little piece off. like so and we'll pop that on the back of it so you can journal on it if you leave them just black you can always just put a photo on there's um, there's no issue uh, there and then just a little tiny amount of glue just around the uh, the edges now I personally don't journal um, my mother always kept a diary which I've uh, I've got um, I've got all her diaries from uh, way back uh, but I've never journaled and it's probably got something to do with um, I'm never ever very good at spelling or English or any of those type of things when I was at school so I find the um, English language a bit of a challenge okay so we're going to put a little owl in there as well there we go and then let's have a look see what else we've got that we can into so I've made loads of these little little envelopes which are quite pretty just the small little envelopes uh, which are quite easy to to make they're one of the uh, the downloads that um, I bought so I'm going to slot that into there and then again in my trusty trusty book at the back here I've got some bus tickets which I might just slot in there too. There we go. Just a couple of bus tickets. Oops, that was out of camera. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just work my way through and uh, put it into the um, the journal. Different bits and pieces, different cards. Oop. So, what? So they're a bit big, aren't they? What about that one? go in that way like so yeah and then I've got one of these little and again I've gotten some of these things I've got no idea where they came from <coughs> excuse me so it's just been a little um, <coughs> oh excuse me file uh, and I might just put that just glue that one on so I don't know how you ladies um, do your ephemera whether you have little bungles the same and then add to to them uh, I'm not sure but that's just the way that uh, I like to uh, to work so that can just um, slot onto there like so now <coughs> I've also got which are really really pretty I printed off some of these uh, postcards uh, that were a, a download um, which are really really pretty and I'd like to slot it in there, but I think it might be a little bit too wide. Yes, it is for that one. Let's see what else we've got. That page. Right, so it's still a little bit too wide. So what I'm going to do is just trim that down. So I've printed this onto um, photo paper. So I wanted that gloss um, finish on the top there. And I happen to have had um, the ink company that I used was giving away every time you did an order, they gave you a pack of four by six uh, photo uh, copy, uh, sorry, um, glossy photo paper. So hence the reason why uh, I've got a load of uh, a load of those. So I'm going to slot that in there like so. Yeah, quite like that one. And again, I might just stick a little ticket in there. Oops. I don't like that, but I quite like that on there. So I'm going to put my ticket, I think, I'm going to put my ticket on there. Like so. There we go. And have I got another ticket or a stamp or something? Let's have a look what we've got. Nice. No, I don't like that there. 
this is where it gets hard and I don't really want you to just be watching me going around trying to stick things on with oh willy nilly that's quite nice the rose to go with that rose there yes so the stamps that I bought are from a um, flea market a while back and it was just a great big massive bundle for a couple of pound and um, there we go that looks quite nice on there and then I spent all day trying to sort them out uh, and if I'm honest I sorted them all out moved and they all fell on the floor so that was a bit of a, 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 another disaster so right so we've got that page and we've got that page so I need something that needs to go in there so again uh, let's have a look what we've got we've got a journaling card that would slot in so that's a bit a bit tight fit are they any better no I need something a bit slimmer a bit slimmer as a card I've got to use that one up already uh, 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 oh and what I have got is one of those postcards. Oh, well, that's slot in there and I could have something else inside it as well. Yes, I might just do that. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this one is just go around the uh, edge and just distress it a little bit. So you can actually distress um, in various colours. You don't have to do the, uh, the everyday colours that most people use which is sort of uh, vintage photo, um, walnut stain uh, or as this one is ground espresso. Um, with experimenting trying to do some with uh, some different colours in uh, maybe. Now that's, so that's going to slot into there and I can always add something to it and again I need something just to stick on there to brighten that up a bit. So again go to my trusty little album and see what we've got there um, oh they're quite nice I quite like these floral stamps that's a bit Christmassy though I'll put that in the Christmas one at the top the cat one yeah we'll put the little pussy cat one there I'm not into cats I must admit due to a childhood uh, trauma I'll call it where uh, a little girl I used to play with had a great big massive fluffy cat, very much like Bagpuss. Um, and one day we had a bit of a falling out and she threw, literally threw her cat at me, uh, which scraped all my face and terrified me for ages. So I'm not really into, uh, into cats as such. Now uh, then what else have we got that we could put there? Let's have a look, see what else we've got. We can stick there. That's quite nice. I like those violets. Now if I stick that just along there, that can also be a little tuck spot if needed, couldn't it? So, along there and along there. And as I say, all you're going to do is just keep building it up with images that you've got that you're quite happy with. Stay there. going to stay there too good so what I'll do is I'll put a peg whoops a peg there to secure it till it takes there we go and turn that over uh, let's have another look see what we've got now the journey notebook would fit in there which is another or would it does that look okay need something here doesn't it so perhaps we could put oh we could put a postcard there we go in there because we don't want it to be too fat is the thing okay so let's see how we're getting on because this is now getting a bit on the chunky side <coughs> oh excuse me so we've got in that one in there we've got a little bundle there we've got that in there we've got those in there uh, and what I'll do with all these at a later date is, like I've done with this one, I'll be making little holes um, and putting little 
little tags in so you can pull them out quite easily. Uh, and talking about holes, I've just treated myself um, online. I went onto a, a well-known auction site and I've treated myself to uh, the bigger version of the Crocodile, which I believe is called the Big Bite by We Are Memories uh, Keepers. Because when I'm doing this all the time, it causes uh, pain in my thumb. And if I'm doing an awful lot, uh, I'm in agony the, uh, the, day, the day after. So I've treated myself as a, as a one-off. Um, I thought I'd treat myself. I've made these um, oh, cards for when you're reading. And I think I might just slot that one into there. Like so. Right, so we've got little birdie there. And I could perhaps put a... I'm too big now, it's going to take off his face, isn't it? That's no good. I need something long and slim to go in that one. Oh. Long and slim. Oh, now these are... Uh, tags that I made um, a while back and I think that's going to be too tight to go in there. My skeleton tags uh, and will that fit into that one? No, that's not going to go in, it's a shame because I do like these tags Is it going to go in there? No No No, not happy with that Not happy with that at all Ooh, Let's see What else have we got? So we need something to go into into there and something to go into there. Now that's quite pretty. Again, that's from one of the uh, the papers, and I've just gone and cut the image out. I'll stick that there. Oh, I quite like that there, actually. Yeah, I quite like that there. And this is what I, I tend to do. We can spend hours doing this, just um, twiddling and putting tickets and images and things in to uh, add to my uh, collection. Oh, now then. I'll put a little black book in, I think, somewhere. Have I got room for a little black book? Maybe I'll stick it into there, like so. Because it's anywhere that you can actually journal into is uh, quite nice. Ooh, now then I've got another bundle of papers and card. I think that would look quite quite nice. Oh, that's a bit tight, isn't it? It's a bit tight. That one's too fat. Although we don't use the word fat in my house, it's fluffy. Because um, anyone that knows me knows I'm on the, the fluffy side of life. So we don't use the word... Um, Fat, it's not in our vocabulary. That's a hard word for me to say. Vocabulary. Oh, that's a nice. I like that. Uh, I like that image. I do like that image. Let's put that there. Like so. Um, so for the time being, I, th oh, I quite like that image as well. For the time being, I'm going to leave it like that and then just add to it um, at a later date. So I'm going to put my tags. Uh, and all my other bits and pieces, um, like I've done on, on this journal, all my little uh, tags and things. So just to give you an idea how easy it is to actually make your journal from your staggered cards. So best of luck. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button so you can see and hear all about me on the next video. Thanks very much from Crafted by Norma. Bye.